Hi, and welcome to this friendly resin challenge where I challenge another resin artist to make resin art or functional art by completing certain challenges. So what is the challenge this month and who am I challenging? The theme, Valentine's Day. The challenge, use only red and white shades to create a dinner setting for two using alcohol inks to create flowers. And who have I asked? I've asked Sherry from Sherry's Imagination to take on this challenge with me. So let's start with the flower plate and preparation is always the first step before pouring. And if you get everything set out and mixed up before you pour, you're more likely to have a successful and not forgetting fun resin pour. The key step I learned in this challenge was the right ratios when mixing the white. The white is the most important part to creating flowers in resin. The amount you mix into the resin is really important. For the best results, use a small amount of white pigment paste. Pigment pastes are heavy, and if you put too much, it will st sink straight to the bottom and leave blobs of white pigment instead of wispy flower petals. Then I add one and just one single drop of alcohol ink in the same shade. So in this case, white alcohol ink. The ink helps the white wisp out into pretty petals. For the red part of this challenge, I'm using some bright red alcohol ink mixed into resin. I've added about four or five drops and I'm going to apply this to the outer rim of my mold. And now onto the pouring. To start, I filled the mold halfway with clear resin. I've popped any bubbles and to guide you, I've made this template using the shape of the mold and this will help you to see how I place the white stripes later on. I started with the red ink and resin around the edges of this flower mold. Now, I will be honest, these molds are very pretty, but they gave me some trouble. I bought these from AliExpress and all three of them stuck to the resin in different places once they were cured. So I managed to save my work, but not the molds. So I ended up using other molds to create my coasters and you'll see those later on in this tutorial. For the center of these flowers, I've chosen some chrome cracks and I'm adding them directly to the center and using my stick, I push them into the resin and I'm just gonna swirl them around a little bit. And so now onto the white part to create the flower petals. Just skim the white on top of the resin without pushing it down or scraping the mold. I am following the shape of my template, but once you become an expert at this technique, you can apply the white freehand. So there are countless petal shapes that you can create and this is just one design. And if you prefer, you can add the white into a piping bag and pipe out your design.
at those petals. And can you see how the red has become the background? You can actually see them better on a darker background. They are so pretty and so ethereal. I just love them. So I've made matching coasters using the exact same white mix and used the same red ink mix. So here are some other top tips for creating this look successfully. So number one, you should use a high viscosity resin. And high viscosity simply means thick and not runny. So I'm using geode resin from Mrs. Colorberry. Since it is very thick, it's high viscosity and it's perfect for creating these flowers. So tip number two, fill your mold with clear resin and then before adding your white, wait 15 minutes. So it does help to wait rather than pour straight away. You get different effects and you'll see an example of the coaster I poured straight after mixing and this one after waiting 15 minutes. So it does depend on the look you want. Both are very pretty, but there is a difference. So I've seen some sneak peeks of Sherry's creations and they are just gorgeous. And she will also be showing you how to create red flowers in resin. I'm doing white petals, but I am definitely going to try her method next time I make these. So for the pattern, I'm adding rings of white and then I'm pulling the edges in and out using a toothpick to create them. And actually using these coasters on a dark background mold is, is really useful so I can see the white clearly. And again, always the element of surprise, but I just love these, especially the center petals. And the transparent red background really brings out the white perfectly. And if you decided to, you could also add a dark layer of resin to the back, but I just love the lightness as they are. So this is the second coaster I made for this dinner set and this time I didn't wait 15 minutes. I poured my white straight after adding the clear resin base. So this gave me a bit more of a wispy look. And now on to a fun technique for making napkin rings with a tea light holder mold. So you might have seen this in um, this mold in previous tutorials. I've used them for making mini jasmineite and resin candle holders. And so the trick to this mold it, to create the napkin rings is to fill up only halfway and this will give you a, a really nice napkin ring shape. And you might be left with a slight rim on the top side, but if you use some fine sandpaper to knock it back it's hardly noticeable. I'm once again adding some red alcohol ink to tint the resin and I'm also this time using some red glitter in resin. So I'm just layering these on top of each other until the mold is halfway filled. Don't worry about any splatters on the side, you can wipe those off later.
and I decided to make his and hers napkin rings for this so I'm using some glitter and resin to fill up this cute heart mold and some red tinted resin in the middle once again using a few drops of red ink. And for her I'm making a crystal cluster with the leftover red tinted resin and for best results let the resin sit in the cup for about 10 minutes to allow all the bubbles to rise to the surface and then pour very very slowly into this into the mold so I find that this is the best method for these molds since I don't have a pressure pot and you do still get tiny little bubbles but they're only noticeable if you hold them up to the light So you unmold these once fully cured and just look at that instant custom made napkin rings and very simple to do. So I actually did some in white with a white crystal but uh, since my napkins are in white I thought that red would be a better contrast. And I also made this candle holder with all the leftover resin from previous pours and I've poured them into layers. And if you prefer, you can use a small LED light tea light if you're not comfortable lighting a real candle in resin. To glue both the heart and the cluster on top of the rings, you can use some strong glue, some UV resin or epoxy resin and your rings are ready to go. So what do you think my arty friends, have I completed this challenge successfully? I've certainly had a lot of fun challenging myself and learning some new tricks along the way and I am I'm just loving this combination of white and red and I will definitely be using alcohol inks for another project and I'll be trying coloured flowers next time like Shelley did. But of course I'll have to watch her tutorial to see how she does it and if you'd like to see Shelley's challenge results and her tutorial head over to her channel to watch. Have a great weekend and I'll see you all soon. Bye!